you see a lot of people get the term cloud chasing conscrewed. They they get it misconstrued, rather. Um, and, and the term cloud chasing gets thrown around a lot. And people don't really understand the true definition of cloud chasing. Cloud chasing is not about popularity. It's not about you trying to seek cloud from someone who has more followers than you or has more subscribers. It has nothing to do with that. It's about power and influence. You're cloud chasing someone that has more power and influence than you. It's just that simple. So if I'm going to cloud chase someone, I'm going to cloud chase someone like a Robert F. Smith, who happens to be the richest black man in America, who happens to pay off a whole bunch of student loans for the graduates of Morehouse College. Right. Uh, if I'm going to cloud chase someone, I'm going to cloud chase someone like Jeff Bezos, the, the founder of Amazon or Larry Page, the, one of the founders of Google. Right. Warren Buffett. Right. I'm going to cloud chase someone that has power and influence that owns and controls entities that are worth billions of dollars or multi millions of dollars you know a jay-z for example just became a billionaire i'm gonna cloud chase people like those people like that so if cloud chasing a guy that has that's a, a youtuber that has a million subscribers that's not cloud chasing that's just seeking that's just basically seeking attention and popular and wanting attention and trying to get popularity that's it. That's all it is. Or, 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 or trying to so-called cloud chase someone on Instagram that has a million of followers. You know, you're just basically trying to seek fame. And that's not really what cloud chasing is about. Right? But at the same time, cloud chasing, um, you got to pay a price. If, you really, if, you, if you're cloud chasing it, especially for the wrong reasons, there's a price to pay. You may not experience that that actual uh, circumstance immediately, but it will happen. You know, case in point, I forgot the dude's name, but y'all remember that that video where the dude, one of these one of these uh, up and coming rappers, and we just found out. I didn't find out after the fact the guy was a rapper, but basically he went into a Louis Vuitton store and um, recorded himself trying to instigate a fight with a rapper. I believe his name is Lil Baby. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, recording himself, trying to instigate a fight with little Baby, and guess what? He tried to cloud chase, and he got his ass whooped. Now, he felt that circumstance immediately. Now, most, a lot of people don't. When you're trying to cloud chase someone, um, especially for the wrong reasons, and, you know, that wasn't really a cloud chase anyway, because little Baby, even though he's a he's a rapper, he's an up-and-coming rapper, but, you know, he really doesn't he really doesn't have that much power and influence as of right now. You know what I mean? He doesn't really own or control anything at this point. He's just... An up and coming rapper and the dude was trying to get on his level so he's basically seeking fame and attention that he would that's what he was trying to do but at the end of the day it failed because he got his ass whooped and that's what he will be ever known for he'll be infamous for being whooped at a louis vuitton store not because he wants to be a rapper or not because he has you know music coming out he will always be remembered for getting his ass whooped by a little baby at the louis vuitton store you can't erase What's on social media? What's on Google? It's there forever. That's his fault. So that's not cloud chasing. That's just seeking fame and attention. But when I see guys like um, Piper Boy Williams, for example, right? Piper Boy just put out a video yesterday where he confronted Young Buck. And he looked like a TMZ reporter. Asking just really just instigating questions to get a response out of Young Buck. He, I guess he was at a grocery store or something like that. And he was asking some TMZ style questions to get a negative response. He was hoping for a just a response. And he got a response. Um, asking him about what's up with 50 Cent. I heard you fucking trannies. He was looking for a response. A TMZ style, right? And Young Buck responded, uh, by saying, you know, turn off the camera. I don't want to be recorded. His lady friend or whatever was with, was with him. Got in front of the camera. She basically said the same thing. He doesn't want to be recorded. And then after, you know, um, Piper Borks kept instigating about the training and 50 Cent, Young Buck was like, he got off the, he was on the phone. He said, hell up, man. Let me get off the phone. And basically was talking about he going to get some in the car. As in, you know, threatening him. 
about, you know, shooting him or, or trying to fight. And then Piper Boy responded by saying, I got some in the car, too. So mission accomplished. He got a response out of by instigating Young Buck for a response about 50 Cent and trainings. He got a negative response, something he was looking for to go viral. And guess what? It went so viral that 50 Cent posted it on his IG. Someone, like I mentioned about before, the true definition of cloud chasing is cloud chasing people or entities with power and influence. 50 Cent clearly has power and influence. Right? 50 Cent reposted his video. Piper Boy wins video. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, Piper Boy. Good job. Good job. That is the true definition of cloud chasing. But there is a price to pay. Because again, like I mentioned to you before with that little baby incident, there's circumstances to cloud chasing like that. So the guy who, who got his ass whooped by little baby, he met them circumstances immediately. Now, when you were confronted um, Young Buck at the grocery store, Young Buck was going to <laughs> basically whoop your ass and shoot you right in the store. But his lady friend stopped him and at least the camera cut off uh, from him, from that happening. And it, as a matter of fact, when when, it, you know, when soon as uh, Young Buck responded to that last question about the tranny incident, he put the phone down, wanted to actually physically confront, possibly, you know, assault or, or shoot. Uh, Piper Boy at, at the store, and you notice that Piper Boy quickly reached, uh, retreated, backed up, put the camera on himself to make sure he was filmed, so that you know his his video would would be known by his video would be stamped as a watermark by saying this is me, I did the video, mission accomplished. I hope Fifty Cent reposted the video so I can get my subscribers and my 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 viewership up. Mission accomplished. But again, those circumstances that that come with cloud chasing will happen. It's inevitable. It's universal law. So, you know, at the, at the end of the day, I kind of feel sorry for Piper Boy for, you know, you, you had to go at that length to cloud chase. And the fact that now it's reposted on uh, 50 Cent's um, IG page with over 23 million subscribers or followers. So that video is gonna be viewed over possibly 10 million times. And the people who don't know who Piper Boy Williams is, uh, was, they will now, or they will eventually find out. But again, he will meet his fate. He will have a he will have a price to pay, uh, and a circumstance will happen. It's inevitable. So it is what it is, family. So those are my thoughts about that, about cloud chasing Piper Boy and anybody else who decides to you know you know truly cloud chasing understands the real definition of cloud chasing. All right, family. Those are my quick thoughts about that. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Shout out to the real BRC, GMOG Media TV in the building. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. Till next time, family. Chauncey signing out. Peace.